Well, happy April, everyone. AJ Baines, President and CEO of the Amherst Chamber of Commerce, and we are thrilled to be back on our Tuesday talk. And I'm thrilled to be standing next to President of SUNY Erie, Dan Hakoy. Dan, Great thanks, to be here. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. This is exciting. Awesome. Very much like the Amherst Chamber, SUNY Erie has three separate campuses and really has a regional approach. So I know you've been in the headlines lately for your master plan. That's right. Yeah. Do you want to elaborate a sure. little bit? Sure. Well, we're trying to leverage uh, each campus for their location and, and the facilities they have um, in terms of our ac academic programs and also making use of the space. And so with regards to Amherst, you know, one of the spitball ideas is that we can develop the almost 50 acres of green space there, right there at Young's and Maine. So I think that's created some excitement. Um, it's a way to showcase our programs, you know, possibly a restaurant for our culinary arts or our hotel for our hospitality students. And then we have brewing science, so maybe a little pub and, you know, pastries and all that sort of thing, as well as possibly lease some of that land to uh, businesses that want to be part of that excitement. Well, it's really exciting, and one of the things that I've been excited and really happy to work with you on is the excitement that you bring to the community. But you're thinking about the jobs of not 2020, but the jobs of 2030 and 2040. Exactly. Yeah. So what you know, one of those ideas is having a canvas campus. Um, you know, we're partnering with Flora and Roswell Park Cancer Institute to have one of the first industrial size. I think it's 1.25 million square footage right there on the, on the water. It used to be the old Hana furnace plant. Um, and we would provide all the training from cultivation to extraction to marketing and the business aspect of it. Um, you know, and we would be part of that innovation for New York State. And it's yet to be legalized. I, I know there's some con you know, controversy and discussion right now. I know the governor is, is supportive of, of legalization. Um, and I think it's an opportunity for us to be part of that growth and that uh, economic development in the region. You know, I, I come from Toronto, so uh, during US prohibition, the Canadian whiskey companies were able to dis establish themselves and their distribution networks because of prohibition. And so Seagram's and you know, all the other companies um, to this day are thankful, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so. Um, I think uh, it, it's great also for people who are suffering from chronic pain because yeah. it provides an option for them. And that's why Roswell Park is, is, is interested as well. So I think it, it's, it's a win-win-win. Well, you're working with other companies besides just Flora in the business sense. I know you did a partnership with Citibank. Could you elaborate a little bit yeah, on that? Yeah, so Citi is really excited about our students. Yeah. And uh, for $200,000, they named a, a lounge in our STEM building on our North Campus. I think you were there. Yep. And so uh, for $200,000, they have the right to put a tablet to advertise their employment opportunities for our students. And so again, it's, a, it's another partnership with a good uh, private company and they get to advertise and have almost first dibs on our students and our students get uh, first opportunities for jobs at city. So it's, it's again, a win-win. Well, like you said, it's all about jobs, jobs, jobs. And I know last summer that you did a program with Ignite Buffalo in right. partnership That's with right. Facebook. Exactly. And are you doing anything further with them? So we were lucky enough to be one of nine colleges in the country to partner with Facebook to have a digital marketing certificate um, that will start this summer in June. Uh, and then again in September. And the whole idea is that there's small businesses that really want to be able to advertise their services and products on a free platform like, like Facebook. And that there's a skill set that you know, people would need to have. And so this training provides them that. And then Facebook becomes even more ubiquitous if that's possible. So it's, <laughs> it's a win-win-win. So only nine colleges in the country? Yeah, that's right. We're very happy to be part of that partnership. And again, it all comes back to jobs, 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 right? right? I mean, exactly. that's it. And right. you're there to help facilitate that discussion, train the Absolutely. workers of the yeah. future here. Yeah. And with the Canvas Campus, we're looking at a thousand new jobs, not to mention the tax revenue that would come to New York State. Yeah. Well, we might be a little way off on that one. We'll see what happens there. What do you think? Another year or so before we... I, I, I think the governor in his state of the state said it would be yeah. in the first 90 days or so. Okay. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Anything else you'd like to mention? Um, you know, I just think the college is a major engine for economic and, and social development uh, in the region, and we'd love to partner with businesses and, and nonprofits in advancing the interests of, uh, of the college and, and its residents and to help uh, 
make uh, Western New York uh, great again. Well, I'm glad that you're here. Um, I know many people in the chamber are glad that you're here, and I hope that you stay here for the long term. We appreciate everything that you're doing and the excitement that you're bringing to the college. And it's going to be interesting to see how the next year unfolds with the college, with the master plan. And we look forward to working with you and being a community partner in that. So thank you for everything. Yeah, likewise, AJ. Good. Yeah, great to be thank here. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, Amherst Chamber loves these Tuesday talks. I know our members really enjoy it. We're glad we can get such great people like President Hakoi, and we look forward to seeing everybody next month. So thank you very much.